Hey fellow reefers, welcome back to the channel. My name's Lee, this is Reefer Explained. Today we're gonna to do a video on the Refactory pH probe. And Refactory in general, uh, there is no video out there that's showing how they calibrate this unit. Um, they do a fancy intro, um, they've got uh, other people testing the TDS meters, the salinity meters, the KH keeper, but no one is showing the pH uh, probe setup and calibration mode. Now, I don't know if it comes calibrated. These are the questions I would like to be answered. Um, currently, I've been trying to reset this and calibrate this unit uh, consistently. Uh, it does not work. I do not understand the instructions. It is not clear. This is a rant video at Refactory. Please do a review, a, a, a video commentary of how you set this up and how you calibrate it and showing the instructions on the screen because I have tried calibrating this many times and it is currently reading 8.67, which is impossible. Um, I would like some answers from Refactory. Anyone else out there has been using this product, please reach out and tell me what to do. So currently I've got some RO distilled water. I've got the calibration fluids four and seven. And my understanding is that you would do the four first, rinse it off in RO water, dry it with a cloth, put it into the seven, press okay, wait for the calibrate, calibration to do for the 57, 57 seconds and then press okay. Are you meant to wait for your screen to level out to four first and then seven? This is not explained at all anywhere. It is really frustrating Refactory that you can't bring out a video to support customers and people that are trying to set these units up online. This is currently reading 8.68 and I'll show you a test if anyone wants to see. If not, who cares? So, here is the probe. Okay. We're gonna dip it in RO water. Okay. We're gonna dry this off. Okay. And then we're gonna it into the 4.0 point, 4 point pH by Refactory. Another complaint I have about these um, is that these vials, these plastic cheap vials that they put them in, these bottles, what number one, why give so little solution, calibration solution? And two, why couldn't you have put these in like a, a rubber bracket so that they don't fall over? Um, it is beyond me. So we've got this in the calibration slu solution and uh, fluid, and it's uh, reading 4.26 and it's dropping. Now, I don't know if you're meant to leave this in for five minutes first, and then press calibrate or just press calibrate now and then it will count down the 57 seconds to start calibration mode. Um, so, you know, the instructions online are really bad. They say 30 seconds, but there's no 30 seconds anywhere for this test. It's 57 seconds as soon as you hit calibrate. So I'm gonna hit calibrate now and it says before calibration mode, remove it, dry it off and put it in the PO pH4 solution. Press okay. Calibrating for 60 seconds. And we're just waiting for this now to calibrate to 4.0. We are currently reading at 4.14, 4.13. I'm gonna pause the video for a second because it's taking a while. 4.12. Okay, so we're down to 4.09. 408 and it says calibrating probe on the screen and then underneath it says select okay red obviously okay 
or blue cancel. I'm guessing I should wait for this to level out at 4.0 uh, on the low pH calibration fluid. Now what I found is that this, yes, this will work and go to 4.0. When you go to the seven, if the seven takes too long for any reason, it just times out um, and then kicks you out and then you have to start the whole process again, which is really frustrating. So I really urge Refactory, please, to bring a video out with a glass tank on the screen with salt water, the, the actual bracket, the probe, um, how to set up the app and then go through the uh, positioning and then once the position of the cradle is in position do the calibration and show how that works how long does it take them the countdown timer and why is there only a solution at four and seven where is the 10 solution for the ph um, this was brought up by reef dork um, and some other people i believe and we're still waiting for this so um, I'm not sure if we can use any other calibration solution with this unit or do we have to use refactory um, I've just bought a replacement just in case this is tainted and um, they're around six pounds each plus delivery it's not the cheapest thing to buy um, especially as soon as you paid 200 and something pounds for the actual unit we're down to 4.05 now And I just find this, if I'd known that this was so annoying, I would have never bought a pH probe. Um, I'm sorry if anyone out there is kicking it and saying, well, I'd set this up in two minutes and it works fine. Hell no. Hell no. I've got the thermal control, piece of cake, thermal view. I've got um, the switcher, the power switcher. But this is, this is crazy. Um, Seriously, I'm really contemplating just sending this whole unit back to them. So we're still waiting and it's been three or four minutes to get down to 4.5. We're just going to pause for a sec. Okay, we've come back to 4.02. Still taking a while, so far around eight minutes to get down to this point. We're down to 4.01. We're nearly there. It still says calibrating probe, select OK. I don't know if that's OK to go to the next stage or OK, it's at 4.0. So again, clarification on this, please put it in your instructions. Uh, put a video out there. This is like stupid. You know, it's not clear. There we go. OK. Now it's telling me to take it out of the 4.0 solution, uh, dry it, then submerge it into the, it doesn't say anything about rinsing it, so submerge it into the P7 and press OK. So we're going to do that now. Bear with me, guys. So we've got the 7 here. Just give it a little shake, just in case that helps in any way. Okay, so we've uh, dried this off now, and uh, we're going to put it in 7. We've got it in there. We're going to press OK. Calibrating 58 seconds. 6.72. We're climbing. 50 seconds left. 6.95. Yeah, that got to 7 very quickly. And we've gone past 7 for some reason. Anyone else? like to comment why we've got above seven if this is a 7.0 solution calibration fluid i don't know still going up so whether this is what my ph is and it's not correct and then the 7.0 just calibrates it back who knows okay 12 seconds left of the countdown the last one I waited about 10 minutes um, just on the basis to get to four. So we'll see now. As you can see, I've got that in the seven. 
Okay, calibration uh, timer is run out. I don't know if we meant to again wait. I'm guessing so to get down to 7.00. Um, it's just still hovering at the 7.5. Try and move the probe around a minute, see if that helps. 7.0, so you move it and then it goes down. Now we're under seven. I don't understand this probe at all. It's just jumped from 7.5, there we go. So we are seven now, let's press okay. You, the device is now calibrated. Okay, thank you. And I've taken it out, it's calibrated, so I'm gonna dip it in some RO and just dry it off. I'm gonna put this in the tank and we're gonna see what comes up. Okay, so currently, I don't know if you can see, let me just put some light on the situation. We've got the probe in, it's not submerged at all. It says about halfway, it's just over halfway. Um, we've got the um, alarm still going, but I've turned off the sound. We're at 8.60, so it's impossible. How can the reef be 8.60? Now I've calibrated a pen on this um, pH because I have a, another one here. Let me just uh, show. Someone else said to me, oh, you have to calibrate the pen every time. Well, okay, I've calibrated it. Let's just say that. So calibration, so we've got this, it's a pH meter. Let's see what this is reading compared to the refactory. I've got all the windows open in the house. I haven't got the CO2 scrubber on. Well, this is saying I'm 8.3, which fine, okay. If I'm 8.3, brilliant, that's, that's really good. 8.2, there we go. That seems about right. It's now in the evening time, nine o'clock at night. So 8.2, I can understand. It's night time. This is saying 8.62. So what is going on refactory with your equipment, with your video? Can you please do something about this and address people when they ask for it? Now, yes, you have a customer service and everything else in Poland rubbish you know how can you do a service from there without any video or content to show um telling me how to do things and download this and read this and that it, it it's pointless so can you please address the situation and do a video for us showing how you calibrate this thing um and my other question is why is this cable so short can only reach a certain point and that the end here is not, uh, I've got any rubber seal over it to protect it against water splash or anything like that. Uh, again, really bad design, not really happy about it. Um, so yeah, I'd like some help on this ASAP. And this is Lee Seal signing out on a rant video on Refactory's pH meter. Sorry guys for the uh, kind of negative response but uh, I hate it when equipment doesn't work correctly and especially pay so much money for something that is not coming up to par. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.